200 brake horsepower you've got there. As I said, top wheels have always been designed to go really fast on custom tracks. So, what do you do with the track? Well, you make it in segments so people can build whatever they like. Then you invent a battery-powered booster to shoot cars along the straight and a speed brake to slow them down for tight turns. You can even tune how fast the booster would propel the cars. But why stop there? Loops, jump ramps, back turns, gravity drops, trestle bridges, chicanes, crossovers, lap counters, multi-lane side-by-side racing launchers. All fully compatible, of course. That's just good engineering. They even made an auto shop with a working dyno and a teeny tiny oil can and wrench to tune up your cars. I've played with it. Nice. So why's the track orange? It's like bright orange. <laughs> Can't argue with that. As you know, nothing is more exciting than seeing cars racing side by side. Hot Wheels made loads of accessories for this, including launchers for the start line, pedometers to clock the speed of passing cars, and finish gantries that can show which car has won. No cheating allowed! In the 70s, there were dedicated multi-lane track pieces, including the Fat Track, which was three lanes wide and had no dividers for a risky overtake. there's even more fun stuff to play with. You've got figure eight, multi-story garages, rubber band kickers, and even giant sharks and dinosaurs that jump on the track. Why else do you think we've got a giant dragon right here at the park? <laughs>